bunch of blues. Pink. Yeah, pink. Yeah, pink. Boom, boom. Let's get it. I got a story for every person we probably go see on this run. The PDs and, I know the, them all. and the personalities. I know them all. Yeah. All of them. I got all the cell phone numbers. Know them all. I know Skip very well. I've known Skip for probably nine years. Wow. I've been doing this a while. They're in the same position, huh? Yeah, Skip was, uh, nah, Skip was the man. They got behind me back in 2010 on my first radio song. It's called Still Here. And they were the, they were like, they were the first ones to really put it out. Skip Diller, went, had to go meet with him, set with him, play my whole record for him. That was how you said nine years. Yeah, man. So how it feel now? Now that the position, your <laughs> position is a little different. It's crazy, man. I think it helped me because I still like it produced. I was signed to a um, to a label out here. In, in New York, well actually it was, in, it was in Jersey, in Fort Lee, which is right across the bridge. So I, I spent a ton of time up here, and um, because it was a, it was a, you know, it wasn't a major label, they just, they kind of built me to grind. So I did, I went in every radio station on the East Coast. I, that's how I met so many people. And one of the advice that was one of the um, advice that was given to me early on was yo connect with the personalities connect with the PD, yeah. getting on them personal. Mm -hmm. They said something that Fred would do through the years is just like if you yeah. weren't working a song, it would just send them like a gift, like a fruit basket or something like that. Just yo, just just loving on you, you know, just staying in, you know, staying on the good side. Cause they're the decision makers. The PDs are the decision makers. That's crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. You get to know that guy, get to know his family, you in there. It's really New York is kinda of like the beginning of it. Like career wise, like 2010 The crazy part is many times God is the one behind the breaking. Mm -hmm. And this is the way I like to say it, you know, like it, it doesn't break the real us, he breaks the shell of us. A seed is the most powerful force on earth. Life as we know it is literally sustained by a seed. Um, but the, the potential of a seed is locked away into a shell. And it never comes forth until the shell, the outer, uh, the outer uh, banks of it are, are broken and gives way to this birthing. And it's the same thing in our lives. God has to break the representative of who we are, our experiences, our desires, our expectations. He breaks that shell in order to birth who he created us to be. And so um, that's what the whole first song on the record is about. That song comes out this Friday. It's called The Breaker. And the album begins with this line. It may not feel good to me, but it is good for me to be broken by you. Mm. And so mm -hmm. trust in your life in the hands of the breaker. Good Lord. Hold on, man. Good to see you, bro. Good. Yeah, man. Man, I'll talk about you on the way here. Bro, man. Hits, man. Got it all started for me, man. Nah, but look, you you made Crazy good by it. You made good by it. Crazy, man. You made good by it. One of the most nervous meetings in my life. I came sitting here. We played my whole album for <laughs> nine years ago. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Wow. Ruby That's Rodriguez. Ruby. Right. I called okay. him in the lobby. Oh, you did? He yeah, said, he said, he said tell, tell Skip to put your, uh, put your record in power. That's right. That's cool, man. Yeah, he did that. Skip to put your record in, in power rotation. Yeah, man. I appreciate you, man. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, man. Keep great work, man. And thanks a lot for the blessings. Honor me, man. Same here. All right. Thanks a lot, man. Take care. Safe travels. Bro. All right. Yo, what's up? This is Travis. I am out on this radio promo run with the team. We're having so much fun. Today, we're at the Series XM radio headquarters here in New York. This is a lot of fun, man. Never gets old. I'm having a flashback. I remember stepping in this building for the first time nine years ago. It's crazy. And here we are now. Broken record, 11-1. Let go. Let's get it. Live in the fishbowl in New York City. New York. I got my brother, the one and only Travis Man. Green is in the building. You got me. I know. Everything to eat. I know. You won't let when I'm ready to give up, Lord. You won't let me go. You keep holding me when I'm ready to give up, 
Lord, you won't let me go. For you keep holding, holding me like this. Never. That song Man. is a smash. Man. It's it's worship, it's urban. It's like you infuse these three different styles and sounds and put Oh my god, bro. Oh man. You a special individual, man. Bro, thank you for coming again to share with us. New album in stores, November 1st, broken record. Travis Green, right so, here on the bridge. Shout out to my baby, Dr. Jackie. Yeah, Pastor Jackie, I love you. Love you, baby. You won't meet anyone in the music industry, doesn't matter what genre, that don't know the name. Ruben Rodriguez, his name just gold. Uh, it's a blessing, and you know? I still meet some people like, what you want, Ruben? <laughs> Ruben. I've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. You know, and, this, and it's a blessing that every time I get to meet someone special, an artist is special or whatever, and I can be a part of that. So, Baby, that gets me, that makes me more timeless. You know what I'm saying? I am so proud and happy for you. Yeah. Because you know something? You know, you're amazing. I always felt that. Like yeah. And just now it's all coming together. Yeah. And these big concerts with a, oh my God. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a great thing, man. Yeah. You bring good things to, to the world. Yo, so. Yeah, that was, that was surreal, man. That was crazy. I mean, this for me was, was one of the pivotal points in my career. The first, I think, big break I got was really through Ruben Rodriguez. And um, so being here, being able to meet up with him on the same day that, you know, I, I did a radio run in New York City, which, like I always say, is one of the first cities that really got behind my music um, radio with L.I.B. WLIB with um, Liz Black and Bishop Heads, Kai Walker and uh, BC Trivet and all them. I mean, they were the first skip, you know, with, they were the first to really back it, but Ruben and Pendulum had a lot to do with that. And so, um, it's great, man. It was a great day. Definitely full circle. Love being able to sit down with him. It's a start to, to this radio, this radio tour, man. This radio run. Nine years. It's year nine, man. Doing it like this, it's crazy. So, yeah, let's do it. Keep your head up, know that God won't let you go. Yo, brand new day, New York, New York. We on this radio run. Let's get it, man. We got a busy day. Busy, busy, busy. It's where the view is shot. Tunnel shows, right here. Oh. I still think the answer is love. I, like Martin Luther King was one of my favorite people in history other than Jesus. You know, he said you can't fight hate with hate. And I, I think that, I think if everyone just self-check, the world would be better. I think it's so easy to, to diagnose someone else, diagnose the White House, or diagnose um, hip hop, or diagnose uh, Real Housewives, or whatever. It's so easy to sit back, you know, and, and point at everyone else. But I think if everybody, like took responsibility for themselves and said, you know what, I want to be the best version of me and I want to love people in spite of them because that's what real love is. Uh, love, loving someone who deserves it is easy. That's not real love. Forgiving someone who deserves it is easy. But forgiving someone who never asked for an apology and, and, and forgiving and loving people who seemingly don't deserve it is the best way we can be like Christ. In my opinion. Yo, this was a lot of fun. ABC Radio, New York, New York. With Candace Williams, she was amazing. It was a great interview, great vibe. And um, it's making me more and more excited about November 1st. Broken record. We're almost here. Let's get it. Fill me up. Funny story behind that. <laughs> I did that when I was 18. In the with my mom. Yes, he said I hate New York. <laughs> I hate New York. Kobe was with me, and my cousin BJ, uh -huh. and my mom, and my family was all in this van. We're driving around New York, and I did that 
And my uncle was like, my uncle got real mad at me. My uncle Melvin. And my yeah. dad, was, <laughs> you heard about that story? No, I didn't hear about that. That was the first time in New York? Uh, nah. I was like, that's just stupid. Travis, just not even using your brain. Why did you do that? Everybody in the van was laughing at me. I felt like an idiot. Ambo TV. We at it. New York, baby. There you go. So what's the biggest message you hope they take away from this album? Yeah, I, I want them to know, man, that God's okay, you know? Like, he's okay with us. Like, he, we don't have to perform for him. We don't have to uh, put on for him. He's okay with the real us, and um, he, he takes full responsibility for helping to get us where he wants us to be. The Bible had the story in Jeremiah where it talks about him as the potter, and I just think that's beautiful to see God as um, the potter or the orchestrator, the one who is in the forming business, he's a better fixer than Olivia Pope or anybody else. Like he, he gets things yeah. in order. That's just what he does. And so um, that's what I want him to get from this record: just a, a, a sense of relaxing and knowing that God got it. Other words, yo, just left Ambo TV. Great. We got one more stop. Then I'm off to the sunset. See Jackie, Jace, Josh. Judah. It's fun life. Headed to Interactive One. One more shot, baby. One more. I think we get a little hungry, too. But the potential of a seed is locked into its shell. And we don't even know the beauty of what's in that seed until the shell is broken. And it's the same way in life. The beautiful, uh, person that God has sent to the earth to make impact. We give way to that when the shell of who we are, our representative, is broken and God is the one who's behind that to make way for the real us to come forth. Yo, just finished wrapping up. Uh, Y'all some goodies. Go ahead, after you. <laughs> it's crazy, now I'm rushing to catch a flight. The team is so gracious that it helped to make sure that I could get back home for a few hours. Just to see my kids and my wife. Get a haircut. Right back out. 5.45 a.m. from Philly. This is what we do. This is what the dream looks like for anybody who got one. It looks like minimal sleep, a lot of motion, but it's love. This is what impact looks like. So yeah, that's a wrap with Interactive One. Aaliyah is the bomb, man. Love her so much. I can't believe she said it's been three years since I've been here. It's crazy. I remember everything about last time I was here. Time is just flying. Man, New York is down. Head on home to see the kiddos. See the wifey. Right back at it. Philly tomorrow. All right, man. Take care. Thanks, boss. What we do. Appreciate y'all. Get me in. Medic. Nikum. Hi, man. See you, I'll man. See you later.